Hey y'all, I'm Tiana Shell and welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm doing a little hair tutorial. Last week I did this hairstyle and it was actually a lot easier than I thought it would be and it turned out so cute. I straightened my hair the other week. It is about time for me to wash it. I feel like this is a perfect opportunity to do this hairstyle again. And if you wanna see my straight to curly routine and watch my hair revert back, just stay tuned for the next video. Anyways, I'm just brushing my hair back and I'm gonna put it in a nice secure ponytail. This hairstyle is taking inspiration from a hairstyle that I saw on Simone in All American Homecoming. She's another character whose hair is always on point. Y'all already know with these TV shows, their hair changes every single episode, so it's just so much inspiration to spin off of. I'm using two ponytail holders that I'll be wrapping around my hair three times. Since I'm doing two braids, I want them to be thicker, which is why I'm adding braiding hair. I'm just using some 20 inch braiding hair in the color 1B. I don't feel like dealing with the struggle of doing feed-in braids, so I'm just taking another one of these, just adding it to the hair, the braiding hair, secure it. That way I can just add it over my ponytail. First time, I'm just going to pull my hair through it, and then the second time, just to make it all more secure, I'm pulling both my hair and the braiding hair through. I did not do this when I filmed my Instagram and TikTok video. The braiding hair is already split, so I'm just gonna put a piece on both sides of my head, and then I'm also going to split my hair down the middle. I'm not working with this side just yet, so I'm gonna clip it out of my way. Now I can focus on separating the braiding hair and my hair into three equal sections. And of course, as I braid down, the braid is gonna get gradually smaller, but that's okay because I'm cutting most of this off. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Go ahead and add some hair jewelry to this part of the ponytail. That's the only different thing that I'm doing compared to the hairstyle on All American Homecoming. Just because I'm working on my hair while it's straightened and her style is done on textured hair. So when they use braiding hair very close to what I would assume is her hair texture, it looked so much more natural. And when I first tried this hairstyle and used my braiding hair to wrap around the base of my ponytail, it just didn't look natural. So I like the golden string instead. I'm gonna tie it to secure it. To tame some of the flyaways in the braid, I'm using a little bit of this Chi Holding Spray. I'm now ready to cut the excess braiding hair 
I'm gonna find where my hair ends in the braid and put the rubber band closest to where my hair ends. That way I don't cut any of my hair off when I get rid of the braiding hair. My hair stops right about here. So I'm gonna cut a little bit lower than there. It's like I need to bring this one down just a little bit. I'm gonna cut right here. I don't see any of my hair in that part, but I just wanna be safe. I'm gonna start with a little Eco Styler gel. It's gonna smooth around the front of my ponytail. I'm only using a little tiny bit. I'll start with the Eco Styler and then go over it with the tiniest bit of Kiss Edge Fixer. Tie my hair down and let it set for a little bit. I'm gonna let this set for a bit and then I'll be back to show the finished results. Giving my hair some time to set really helped tame some of the flyaways around the front of my ponytail. I think the hairstyle looks pretty natural and it's easy to do once you get the hang of it. I personally think it's a lot easier than doing a feed-in braid, especially if you're like me and you struggle with braiding your hair. That is pretty much it for this tutorial. I really hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't already and I'll see you all in the next one.